and the talent pipeline. They don't hire editors, they build them with AVTV cohorts and feed them directly into their own ecosystem, the infrastructure. They use AI and centralized team to 10x production efficiency. With the distribution hack, yes, they build educational channels for brands like Zoho to create trust and steal their target audience organically. The atomization loop, one 20 minute video is instantly split into 50 pieces of short form content. This is the future, so share with your future co-founders and build something of it. Hi everyone, today we are going to create this creative motion graphics reel in CapCut. So let's begin with the design. First of all, as you can see here, these line with circles are coming inside with the text. So what we are going to do is, I've already given you all the assets in the description. So make sure if you want to follow along to download these assets. Now I'll just simply head on to default text, hit windows plus dot key and select this square okay and let's you know make this big now we have got this you know white background now i'll bring in my asset which is this first i'll bring my line make this bigger okay put it over here and i'll bring all my lines So I have placed all my lines like this, okay? And now, simply I'll bring in my default text again. Again, I'll hit Windows plus dot key and then select this circle. Make sure it is off black. Let's make this a bit bigger. Put this over here, okay? Now we are going to make copies of this. So four copies, sorry, five copies, okay? And let's put each one on top of the lines and for this one for the last line I am going to make this red okay something like this again default text and then I will write here video editor like it is there in the reference and again I will make this off black and Let's make this bigger or zoom this in and you know place this over here. Now I'll just copy this, place one over here, copy this again, do this for all of them. Okay. And now we are going to put counting number animation on all of them. So you can also make this in CapCut, the counting number animation. If you want to make this from scratch in CapCut, you can see my earlier videos, but I have already made a preset. So I'm just going to put this, okay, over here. And keep it like this. Make this a bit bigger. Okay. Now what we are going to do is basically select the circle, the number counting and the text which is video editor and compound clip, okay, individually. So what I am going to do is first select this, okay, and search for the same text, okay, so this will be this one, this one and then This one, so this third, this one, and this. Hit Alt plus G to make it a compound clip. If you can see, you have made a compound clip of this three. Okay, now I'll fast forward this section wherein I will just compound clip these all individually. Okay. now we have to do the animation so first i'll select the you know line one okay then make it a compound clip again individually select all the lines and make them a compound clip individually okay i 
head on to mask add mask split okay and bring the line here okay and just rotate this click on the mask settings go ahead and bring this up hit all plus k and cubic out okay so we have this animation now we have to do it for all the lines so make sure you you know match the placement of the keyframes okay so now we have to bring these two so what we are going to do is select them and in the same timing so head on to video basic click on the transform keyframe on all of them and go to the same placement and put the end keyframe go to the start and let's start with the first one which is this so as you can see it's coming in this path okay it's starting from over here so what we can do is I'll just bring in a ruler okay and i know that i have to place this from here okay to open rulers what you can do is click on these three lines and select rights and rulers now i'll go to the starting keyframe and bring this hit or plus k click on cubic out okay so you can see you have got the animation along the line okay now similarly do this for all if you don't want it to be seen at the beginning of the frame you can simply select them and you know add some fade in animation from by directly going into animation or it is better if you use the blend keyframe okay and do the animation so after this goes up from from somewhere around here okay so it goes up like this and from just around here okay when this cuts i'll just i simply have to select all of them except the background and hit p to cut it so you get this animation okay and after this cuts we'll bring in the second part or second scene of the animation which is the hourglass so i'll bring the hourglass over here okay and then we need to again bring in our default text hit windows plus dot key select the circle make it a bit bigger okay and let's change the color to of black okay something like this and now we simply have to do animation okay so basically select the transform keyframe go ahead again hit the transform keyframe go to the start drag this up hit or plus k select this select cubic in so you will get that falling animation okay so after this falls down simply copy this okay and go ahead at the bottom change this place to over here go to the start and let's zoom this out and change this place 
over here okay now i'll simply fast forward this section where i'll fill this up using the same animation if you want you can make more also but you know for tutorial purpose i'm making this much only okay so you'll get this but what we have to do is just offset them so keep one keep the first layer like this then offset other layers so you'll get this animation then i need to select this okay and dc uh, just select the rest of them okay but don't select this one which is this one which will be falling inside hit r plus g to make them a compound clip now video and then select motion blur so you get this animation okay and this one i'll hit r plus g separately to make a compound clip head on video and then again motion blur from here what we have to do is just i'll cut everything and then select this r class r class cut this also make this big okay something like this simply bring another default text windows plus dot key select the circle make it bigger of black okay and make this fall down here okay so simply transform keyframe go ahead and let me you know yeah put this over here go to this okay my compound clip of this singular one okay and when this falls i'll simply hit on video transform keyframe go ahead okay and move this a bit till here okay so it will be looking as if it is a continued motion like this bring this behind and from here simply i have to do flickering animation so for that blend keyframe go two frames forward zero opacity two frames forward full opacity two frames forward zero two frames forward full and continue this till you reach the end of the animation so you get something like this from here at the last keyframe hit b to cut it and select this r class hit b cut it and as you can see over here it changes the shape and it falls down so i'll cut my background change it to of black color copy this circle delete the keyframes okay make it white or let's make it red okay i'll make it fall down so before that i need to copy this and make a white circle now the important part over here is let me deselect this what we have to do is basically first i have to mark the center of the frame which is this bring the circle first and put it over here okay the bottom part because we want to make the bottom part of the circle are anchor point as there is no feature in capcut to change the anchor point we'll be using this make this bigger hit alt plus g and similarly enable this and i want the top part of this to be the anchor point make this bigger hit alt plus g okay and now i have to just bring it back to our position of the black circle like this select this and i'll bring this over here so it will fall down now select this transform keyframe 
go ahead transform keyframe again and make this fall down over here alt plus k we'll be selecting our cubic in go three frames for uh, back from the add keyframe and again click on transform keyframe over here make this bigger and at this place touch this okay go ahead here up and at the end again dot transform keyframe and put it down select this so you get this bouncing animation okay as you can see it is very smooth over here and now again click on the transform keyframe go ahead increase this go one for two frames forward click on the transform keyframe go ahead more increase this again go two frames forward click on the transform keyframe go ahead more and increase this again similarly click on the transform keyframe over here for the white circle uh, then over here and then decrease the size hold by clicking the keyframe again then go here decrease the size go to frames hold go ahead and finally make it very small like this okay head on to effects search for shake bring on the camera shake on this okay so as you can see shake effect is there and put it on this too we want it to start from here or over here yes so bring this click this and bring the shake here okay hit all plus k on this now hit on cubic out select this cubic out select this and cubic out similarly select this cubic out select this cubic out finally this cubic out so you get this animation and now you can bring any you know number counting effect okay put this over here let's make this bigger here i'll just hit b to cut this let's see our animation as you can see we have completed the first three scenes help me reach thousand likes on this video and i will bring to you the second part of this animation till then see you in the next